Hey, Brent Porcy at TopVelocity.net, and uh, I want to put this video together to go over the new King of the Hill pitching trainer that I've endorsed and that I've developed a program for because it, when I was introduced to it, I put it into the drills in the 3x pitch velocity program, and it worked so perfectly, it was like it was built perfectly for it. Then it started to give me more ideas of what we could do with a, pro, uh, a trainer this revolutionary that really helps us identify uh, the leg, the leg power, the leg timing, uh, which is really a key part of the 3x pitch velocity program. So I started to develop drills specifically through this trainer, and then I put that into the 3x pitching velocity development kit, which is just purely uh, throwing drills, not like the 3x pitching velocity programs where we get all the strength and conditioning, the Olympic training, uh, and the anaerobic conditioning that is obviously very key to uh, developing significant amounts of pitch and velocity or is going into a high velocity level. Uh, but it does give you a great set of drills, so you can be used for beginner pitchers. This would be a great uh, device with the 3x pitching development kit uh, that you can find on topvelocity.net, um, or it's a great addition to those who have the program. And like I said, I want you to understand that you can use this right into your uh, drills in the 3x pitch velocity program, specifically the med throws and the target throws, it works perfectly with. So I'm gonna go over what it, what it does, kind of how to install it, get set, uh, and get to using it and, and the benefits behind it. And I also wanna talk a little about the difference between it and the pitcher's power drive, which a lot of people think it's similar, but it's not, it's very different. We'll talk about that. So it's a pretty heavy duty piece of equipment. I think it's around uh, probably 30, 15, 25 pounds, maybe 30 pounds, maybe not 30, but close to 25. It's pretty heavy, um, and it's heavy duty. That's what I like about it. It's not, definitely not something you're going to break, okay? Now, it comes with a nice little pad on the bottom, which makes it stick really well in uh, artificial turf or grass, okay? Um, but pretty much how it works is, if I can get really close here, okay, we've got... The top plate, which is gonna slide back and forth and we, on top of the bottom plate, this is obviously the rubber. And then we've got this little torque, uh, this little ramps that creates torque on the plate or applies torque here and puts force in the plate, which makes, uh, creates a difficulty level. So you can go very, if it's loose, it's very easy to move the plate. And then if it's tight, it's a lot harder to move the plate. So that's gonna be key because you look at the studies, more ground reaction forces uh, typically forces pushed into the rubber or even in the front foot generate can generate more ball speeds okay so we can work to increase the that torque so for example if I set it up here okay and then I start off at that you know really easy uh, position I put my foot on the, the rubber you're gonna see as I move my hip forward like I'm going through my delivery when I initiate a push it's pretty easy to get the get the pop Okay, so obviously the beginner pitchers, you can start with it very loose, the torque uh, on that screw very loose. And then as you progress, the ideal thing would be to add more torque as you get better at it. So I'll start to torque it out. I'm gonna go pretty tight so you can see that it, it really gets hard to move. So now I didn't hear anything. When I did on the lighter setting, I heard more. I'm not hearing anything. Okay, so now I've got to really, really focus on my lower half, right? And there it is, boom. Okay, so you can start off at the beginner level and push it, push it all the way up to an advanced level. So if you have either the 3X Pitching Velocity Program or the 3X Pitching uh, Velocity Development Kit, work with that. Start off at a light setting or easy, low torque setting, then torque it up and put more force into it, okay? so. Just some of the, the the benefits of it. It's gonna be two things, and we could, obviously we could bring that into the difference between it and the pitcher's power drive. Is what does the pitcher's power drive do? Well, all it really does is it tells you that your weight is moving forward um, and more effectively done with the hip lead. So it really kind of just coaches the hip lead. So you kind of push the hip forward until your weight starts to shift. And then click, you hear the, 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 the plate touch down, okay? So that really just kind of gives you an indication that your hip moved out, all right? 
there's a there's a cheaper way of doing that. You could just do the Hirschhizer drill where you just lift and fall your hip into a wall. This is going to do a lot more. This is going to, more importantly, make sure that when you go into front foot strike that you actually put force into the rubber. So that means there's certain things you got to do. You've got to get the force vector, which is you'll learn in the three extension velocity program. You've got to get the ankle to knee. That angle, you've got to get that in a linear direction. So it's pushing against the, when I push, it goes against the plate. Because if, if I never get that down and I'm straight up and down, nothing happens. So right out of the gate, it's all about can I get my force vector in that linear position. So when I push, it's pushing against that plate. That's key. So that's one of the first benefits, which is a big part of the 3X Pitch Velocity Program, is first learning how to get that force vector into a linear position before your leg drop. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is you obviously have to push force into it. If I, if I just get my force vector down and then land, nothing happens. So you also now have to push force. So you gotta push the force. Once that gets linear, in the front foot, we hear it pop. The third thing, kind of on the same lines of the push or the drive, is that you need to time that uh, at the right time. Now this, this kind of means, or right, this is basically the same as putting both of the first two benefits together, meaning my force vector gets linear and now I initiate force. If I do that together, the benefit we're talking here, which is the timing aspect. So I have to time the force the right moment, which is obviously when the force vector is linear. Because if I try to push now, I don't hear anything. If I try to push now, I can start to hear it, but if I wait till it gets really linear, boom, then I hear it. So it's, it's helping us get the force vector in a linear position. It's, telling, it's forcing us to generate more force through the leg drive, and it's making sure we time that together. So the force is coming at the moment the back leg, uh, the force vector gets linear. So, wow, I mean, to me, that creates something that's almost, it is, it's an essential that all pitchers need. So this is a device that every pitcher needs. Every single pitcher needs a device like this. It's something also that the pitcher's power drive doesn't even come close to do. So this is, this is obviously a highly valued product here that the 3X Pitch Logic programs uh, just per working perfectly with because it's a lower half approach. This is a lower half trainer, uh, and the three pitch loss program is a lower half approach, so they mesh perfectly. All right, so that's kind of what I want to go on today. I, I wanted to uh, sh get a show you a little bit more about this device, tell you a little bit more about its benefits, tell you a little bit more how it works in the three pitch loss program, which is it works in the the, the regular uh, the velocity programs with all the levels, the preseason and season guides all the lifting and training, and it also has its own uh, 3X program, the 3X Pitching Velocity Development Kit with its own specific drills. And it's cool because in those drills, we train the back leg drive many different ways, planted, okay, with, with uh, a different weighting of the leg, then we train front leg too. So there's a cool way you can train your front leg with this device that you'll learn about in that guide as well. So if you have the pro 3X programs or not, uh, you need this either way. It's not gonna double up anything you need this either way. It's going to be very beneficial, uh, so, so get those if you can. Um, appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions on the King of the Hill Pitcher Trainer or on the 3X Pitching Velocity Development Kits, 3X Pitching Velocity Programs, reach out to me. I'll be glad to help you. You can call me. You can email me. Um, you can come down to my facility uh, if you'd like as well. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll have a lot more pitching velocity uh, tips coming your way.